Hello there, welcome to another video. Um, I've lifted up the back seat there, getting ready to undo the screws under there. But I thought, well, before I do that, I'll start looking at what around this area is like under the seat. I'm gonna clean that up, take all of that covering off, that protective floor covering, chisel all that off, chisel all of this off up the back. I can already see that round these areas are all good. I just want to see what it's like underneath these. Uh, I've pulled this away and I can already see there's rot up there and down there. Not a big problem. So I want to see what this side's like. Keep on my plastic trims. I mean, hopefully that side is clean and strong. If not, then it'll be getting the same treatment as this side. But other than that, up the back area here yeah, looks fantastic, apart from a little bit of surface rust here. Yeah. So look, where's my hammer? a little bit thin. Yeah, that's alright. We'll have a closer look when I've cleaned the it off. So I've also got to take these out. This will be removed. I'll just lift it up out of the way for now. These door cards are gotta be taken off. As someone as one of my subscribers reminded me. I don't um there's grinding marks and stuff going all over them do I? Especially when they I know these are worn. These will be coming off and being redone. But other than that, the rest of it is good on the back doors. So I'll be back with you uh, when I've started peeling some of that off and we'll have a look together. Back to then. It's just started raining. Right, chiseled all that off. This whole floor is solid. Just needs this bit cleaning up. Now my only problem is, is in the chassis well there is loads of rust like, that's fell through. I'm hoping that I can get my air compressor and blow it all in there so it comes flowing out of this end. If not, I'm gonna have to cut a section out of there and clean it all out. Hopefully the compressor will work so it will be shame to cut any of this up. I'll just go do these bits up here now. But the back here is looking fantastic. Apart from where my leg up. I mean, I shouldn't be able to have my feet through the floor, should I? <laughs> um, so I've got to take them bits off. Can anyone tell me if these are seatbelt anchors? Because there's a, there's a bolt, in, there's where you can put a bolt. It looks like a seatbelt bracket goes in there and a bolt goes through it. Maybe the seatbelt comes up the side here. Like for when it was meant to have seat belts. So there's one there and there's one there. So it's making me think. All the metal for the seat is good. For the back piece of the seat. The seat itself is a bit probably a bit rotten inside there. I don't know what to do about them yet. Um Yeah, tell me them off the seat belt. I know these ones off of where these bolt to. But I'm wondering about in there. Yeah, bolts there for that. All in there is good. All up there is good. I think it's just the top such right now. Yeah, so tell me if that's for seat belt brackets for the clips. Um, because I want to put seat belts in the back of this. So if that's not for that, I've got to find a way of doing it. Because obviously I've got kids. I mean, the kids probably won't come in here, but... It's nice to have that option anyway, isn't it? 
So that's your surface rust. Most of this is the surface rust. Just gotta finish taking this off. The reason I'm using this to take this off because it chips off in big pieces and doesn't leave no residue. Whereas if I heated it up and scraped it, it's gonna leave residue on the metal. And when I come to clean all this up, it's metal. I don't want no residue stuck on there. I want to be able to just sand the metal down to be primered because I'm going to order uh, a tub of epoxy. To, uh, is it epoxy primer? Uh, really good, expensive stuff. And this whole floor will be done in that before it um, gets any other sort of paint on it. Because in here is not going to be blue. There's no point. It's carpeted and paint in exactly cheap. And as I want a tub for the whole car. I mean, if there was any left, I'd probably do it. But I don't see the point in having the metal blue when it's carpeted anyway. As long as it's secure and safe from rusting. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to get back to doing these. And I'll be back with you shortly. Hey. It's <laughs> so, um, actually looking really good. Really, really happy with this. Um, I can't really be any on because it started raining a bit. <laughs> um, yeah, look. It's all the metal solid. I've just got this little bit of surface rust to clean up. I've finished taking that bit off, but other than that, it all looks good up there. The back end of this car is uh, going to be a lot easier than the front was. Yeah. Really promising. Um, and that's where the seat belt goes. I was thinking maybe I could reinforce something in there and have a bolt like in here for a seat belt to pull down or somewhere around that area. So I'm just thinking of ideas. While I'm working in it, I'm just thinking of ideas. Um, so yeah, I'm going to carry on doing this. And I'll um, be back with you shortly. <laughs> right, that's what we're left with. All that needs the good cleaning. There's no right. Uh, I may have to cut some of this out to get inside that chassis leg because there's it's basically similar to the situation of what this was and I need access to it so I'm going to cut a section out clean it all brush treat it get that other chassis rail in and then repair that bit um because there's no point in me cleaning that one up and not cleaning that one up even if I blew an air compressor down in there, it'll just blow all the stuff out, but it's going to leave it all crusty, isn't it, still? So I want access in there, so I can get to it and protect it. But other than that, the rest of this is solid. That's just surface rust. Clean all that up. Restrate it. So, this back section is in a heck of a lot more better condition than I assumed. And I was right about this when I said all this was solid. It is all solid. It's all rock hard. That bit's going anyway because it's crusty. So that's going. I mean, it'll probably clean up, but there's no point. So that's going. And then all the back here will have all, all the work done. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, Started peeling it all off there, yeah. So this bit's all good again, just a bit of surface rust there, yeah. This is solid, but I've got to take this off so I can get underneath there, obviously, because there's no point in leaving underneath there when I've got to repair the floor. I mean, the floor's got to be joined up under there anyway, in this area. So, and it's not exactly doing anything at the minute. And obviously I've got to replicate this bit and it needs a repair. Some of my rubbish. It needs a repair all along the side. 
there's no point repairing that until I've got that floor pan in, until there's a floor in. Uh, some rot up there, which I'll get to. Obviously, I'm not at that point yet. There's rot in there, same on the other side. But again, no point in me getting to that just yet, because that's part of the whirl arch. I mean, I suppose I could start cleaning it up, but I might as well wait till I get my sills and address them. So, yeah, that was today's work. Um, Friday, I'm gonna go and get some supplies, because I need some rust treatment. Uh, what else? And some other bits and bobs, flat disc wheels and things like that, all the basics you need clean all of this up um, yeah I'm really happy about this it's, I mean compared to the rest of the freaking car <laughs> this is solid even that's nice and clean shame about the boot the boot is all nicely painted still but I've got to unpick the spot weld to that rear chassis haven't I so unfortunately some of that paint's going to have to be grinded off so I can get to the spot welds but never mind, maybe I can cut a piece of it out and take it to the um, J-Wells paints and get a colour match. So that'll come in handy. Because oh. obviously the boot is the cleanest. I think I'd find it really hard to get anything off this car on the outside to match the colour. So that boot section would be the best. As someone pointed out to me, one of my subscribers said, I should use some of the boot to get the colour match because obviously it's not faded or nothing it'd be the proper colour so yeah that's today's job I will be back out here on hopefully Friday and get some more video content for you of whatever I'm going to do in here so thank you for watching and I'll uh, see you again soon bye bye